Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. Today's verse comes to us from the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 3, and it says this, And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout all Judea. Last week I had dinner with a friend and um, he asked me if I remembered how sick he was about seven years ago when I visited him in the hospital. And I said, yes, I do. I remember that. I remember that you were very sick and it was only the power of prayer that you're here today. He said, yes, I agree. And he said, you know, I told my doctor that. He said, during one of my checkups, the doctor was saying that he was amazed and he was well pleased that he was doing as well as he, he did because the odds were against him. And so he told the doctor, he said, you know, doc, he said, I'm here because there were many people praying for me. And he said, I want to know what you think about that. And he said, he looked at him and he, he told my friend, he said, well, he said, um, why do you assume that I might not have been one of them that was praying for you? He said, you know, I prayed for you before, during, and after the surgery. Now, and this was a very skilled surgeon, but he did not rely on his own ability to provide the best outcome for my friend, but rather he relied upon the Lord. And in today's verse, we're reminded to pray first, to seek the Lord. That's what Jehoshaphat did when he found himself up against insurmountable odds, where there was three a, a coalition of three nations that came against Judea. Jehoshaphat sought the Lord and proclaimed a national day of fast for all the citizens of Judea. And they came together and Jehoshaphat led him in prayer. From all indications, he sought the Lord before mobilizing his forces, be, being fully aware that the only hope, his only hope of deliverance was from the Lord against this vast army. In Jehoshaphat's prayer, we read where he acknowledges that the Lord is the only true living God, the sovereign ruler over all the kingdoms of the earth, that the Lord was all powerful, that he had all power and strength in his arm, that the Lord had given the promised land to his people, the descendants of Abraham, that the people had built a temple in the name of the Lord, and that they were to come to that temple and seek the Lord in time of distress and trouble. And so now was such a time as this because of the, the, the invaders that had come against him. And then Jehoshaphat lays out the predicament that he and Judea were in, and he pleaded, closing, he pleaded with the Lord to deliver them from their enemies, and he did just that. So whenever we find ourselves up against um, insurmountable odds or challenge come our way, may we do as Jehoshaphat did. May we seek the Lord first and trust in him for the best outcome possible. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you. Read the whole chapter. It's a good chapter. It's an amazing thing when the Lord, when the battle belongs to the Lord and the Lord turns the enemy's hand against themselves. And that's what happened in this case. It's an enjoyable read. Read it. Meditate upon this verse. I pray that you would have a great day as you go throughout your day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.